Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. This is a very exciting day for my roster. I usually like to wait until level up events, but the problem of course is that we just had a level up event before arena wins. So we're not gonna see a level up event come back for several days. And so is it worth it to get a few points in a level up event uh, to wait multiple days to not take a seven star to rank three? I don't think so. So I am going to change the profile pick in honor of this all time fantastic champion that as a seven star just gets better with age. Look at that. Look at me feeling lucky. Extra lucky. Domino lucky. Because as fate would have it, after Act 8 Exploration, and shout out to Kabam for making it much easier to explore, uh, especially 8.3, 8.4 in terms of paths and energy than it was. Comparing that to Act 6 where it feels like you do a billion paths to explore one chapter, and it would take me... I, don't, I still haven't done it. I just gave up. It's just stupid. I'm like, this is dumb. It used to like be an energy nightmare. Now, it's very streamlined. And so you get rewarded for the Act 8 completion and exploration rewards, especially exploration rewards, by exploring previous chapters before the new one comes out. And this allows me a chance to do this. Look at this. Look at this. How cool is that? I am so excited. And I, I have a couple of questions at the end that you all might need to help me with. But let me go ahead and hit the rank up. 1,213,041 gold is a, a crazy amount of gold. A lot of people will say, I don't even have the gold to make this rank up happen right now. And I don't blame you. Because that is a lot of gold. Rank 3 Domino. Time to move that prestige. And get a top three, question mark, champion on my roster. 33,000 overall rated already. Can you say yes, please? I mean, 36,000? I am not boosted. This is all based on my mastery setup, which yes is the uh, Recoil Masteries currently, but still. 38,541. Is that a new face of my profile? You better believe it is! I have a new face of my profile. No offense to Ascended Doctor Doom. How crazy is Ascension that a six star is within about a hundred points of being um, my top champ, even though Domino and Shuri are both ranked halfway to max rank. Now, obviously, a lot of it does with, deals with six stones, too, which I will bring myself back into the fold to end this video, because when it comes to six stones, I do have a couple that I have not used. I have not spent any of those generics, so I still have in terms of seven star six stones, and I, for the life of me, I can't understand why they're down here. I have 40. Now, for prestige reasons and for defensive reasons, it might make sense to put Domino to Sig 130. But is it better to put Domino to Sig 130 or Iron Man to Sig 120? I'm guessing the poll, which I will also do tonight on my broadcast, will probably say Domino. But I have a new face of my account. And I want to test her out. I want to scroll. And I'm just going to do the Holy Trinity synergy for the rest of this video. And I think I just want to do parry heavies until maybe a special two. This is is the kind of uh, gameplay testing that I get excited about. Because unlike 
Prowler or Spider Punk that I know very, very, very little about. And when you just play around with them, you think, this champion sucks. And then you realize, oh, no, they don't suck. I just need to do this sort of complicated rotation that I don't want to do. Um, okay. We've got Red Hulk. And now we will get Masakre. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm going to hide my webcam to show the power meters. The new face of my profile, PI at 43,781 unboosted with this. Now, that is... Technically, well, it's just the pair I have is 6,000 per tick. Now, if I want, I can do a medium into that, and that's 12,000 damage per tick. That hits like a 12-star Batman. And I'm going to do a special, too. That was insane, 12,000. Is he going to get unlucky? No. So, not unlucky. Down to 1%. That's some BS. How many hits was that? 12,000. 25 hits! And it could have been like 18. You know what? I gotta, I gotta try that fight again. Gotta love the restart feature, you know? That was... What do I, why do I need anybody else? You know? This is the kind of thing where it's like, Kabam, I know you want to motivate me to, to spend money on new champions and chase champions. and I get all that. But when... When you've got down 13,000 damage? 13,000? One parry heavy and he's lost 25% of his health? 15,000 damage? What? How? It's just parry heavy. There's another 15,000. There's another 15, there's 11,000. How many hits was that? Eight hits? Oh my God! I just lost my voice. Eight. Eight hits. I'm not saying that this is a world record because that sounds like some clickbait BS. But it's up there. I did four parry heavies with this fairly high uh, health defender. I know he's a four star. But... Wow, the, by the way, if you're keeping track at home, 25 seconds. Because if you just go by hits, it's kind of a stupid argument. No offense to people who do it. But if you just go by hits, you can have Quake get zero hits if you play her perfectly. But it might take you five minutes. So I think hits are actually a bad metric of data. Fight duration matters more. In this case, you get the best of both worlds of data. You get less than 10 hits. Remember when uh, Kabam said Carnage has to be nerfed because he's taken down, Six Star Carnage was taken down Realm of Legends Winter Soldier in like 40 hits? This is eight. Eight. 25 seconds. I think this is making me feel like I, uh, I should put the 40 generic SIGs into her too. But I'll wait and be responsible and ask my channel tonight. All right, YouTube. Wow. Just wow. A truly amazing video of data. I am so happy right now. Thanks for watching.